In this video guys, we are spending 100 days as Fullbringer Chad from Bleach in Peroxide Roblox. To do this, first of all, we need to become a Fullbringer and obtain Chad's clan. Once we've done that, we need to level up to level 15 to be able to get our Fullbringer element. And after that, we need to level up to level 90 so we can fight our Fullbringer boss to awaken our Fullbringer. Alright guys, so the first thing that we need to do to become Chad is to become, of course, a Fullbringer. And we are going straight to that X mark so we can talk to the guy and become a full bringer uh, we also need to kind of get lucky with the clan he's got a rare clan so i don't really want to spend that many product essences on his clan because product essences nowadays are so limited um okay i can still be with my best friend yes join best friend and literally just like that we are a full bringer and we like yo yo we look go either but why do we look so drippy and i'm guessing if we press here yep we've got clan rewards we've already got 27 clan rewards on this account so we've got them loaded up already so we're just gonna spin ug okay F okay Okay, so good. Oh, okay, <laughs> literally four spins in and we've already got Chad, which is perfect. And look at us right now, looking drippy. The only thing that we need is his hair, which right now we can't afford it. But of course, once we do get some of the yen and stuff, we can go to the barber and get our hair done because right now the hair is not looking too great. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is, of course, do the quest board missions. And we're going to be talking to our boy Kisuke here so we can do two quests at the same time. All right, okay, what kind of chores? Take quest, level up by doing job board quests, okay. Which one are we going to do first? Deliver package. Okay, wait, that's way too far away. Is there any other one that's close? Okay, this one's close, perfect, okay. All right, this is super easy, and there we go. We've already got, okay, Kisuke quest completed, and what are we going to do? We're going to get the Cyclone, of course, the easiest combo extender in the game. And are we going to put, I think we're going to put it in my, uh... So we do, we're gonna put it in strength, we're gonna put it in strength, because why not? Okay, accept another quest. Okay, sure, take quest. Alright, seek out NPC hollows and deal 200 damage to them. So I guess now we're gonna be doing this quest here. Alright, there's a bunch of hollows everywhere, so I think I'll go to these guys here, because there's like, they're all grouped up together. Actually, never mind, I'll go to that one over there. I just realized I'm literally level 1. I'm level 3, so I'm not gonna be able to kill these guys very quickly. And if they all jump me at the same time, we are definitely gonna die. Alright, let's see what this hollow's got. Okay, let me just hit him with this. Boom, boom, boom. Him with the combo. Okay, okay, okay. We actually, yo, we're comboing him. We're doing doing damage to him. All right, perfect block him. There we go. And first holo should be dead very very soon. And there we go. One holo down. Two more to go. Oh my god, the three the three holos are jumping me at the same time. Yep, this is not what I wanted. Okay, I'll be real. This is not what I wanted. Those three holos to jump me at the same time. Okay, yo, I, I think we're gonna have to just go for this one. This one only. No, please. Okay, 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 okay. This is not what I wanted. No, we died. No. Okay, they killed me. No, that's so annoying. All right, hopefully we spawn close to them and we spawn literally on the opposite side. All right, at least there's two hollows here that we can kill. All right, we're just gonna have to kill this one last hollow. Actually, our quest is already complete. I think somebody killed those hollows that, like, killed us. All right, so what do we do? I think we're gonna put more... We're gonna put them into our vitality. A new skill available. We're gonna awaken... We're gonna upgrade our cyclone, because why not? But I go to Yurahara shop. Okay, well, what potential level? Okay, we're already level 7 and that's our max potential. So I think now, guys, we're just going to be, like, hitting the gym, doing a little bit of quests and stuff until we get our max potential. Don't get to a decent amount and also reach level around level 15, level 20, because that's when we can actually, like, start accepting the full bringer quests and getting our full bringer element. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys then. All right, guys, so after just, uh, just a little bit of grinding, we managed to get to level 29, which is, I think more more than enough for us to basically be, we be able to do like the older like level 15 full bringer missions no no doubt about it so first thing says we need to go and talk to this guy i'm pretty certain and then he's gonna tell us to find aura and then after we find i think her name's aura michibane after we find her that's when the thing actually starts the full missions properly properly start so first of all we need to talk to this guy here right okay we talk to him and wait okay Yes, best friend, you're strong enough now. Go to another friend of yours, Aura Michibane. Head to the place of remembrance, pastors, and she'll be waiting, okay? She's literally located literally like above there. I think near the graveyard, she's sat there. So we just gotta go to her, speak to her. She's gonna give us a cell phone. All right, Aura Michibane, we talk to her. You are ready to join us in more than just name. Take the cell phone using it. We'll bring you to our HQ. And yeah, we're just gonna use it really, really quickly. And then she should start giving us missions straight away. So we talk to her and uh, allow me to prove myself and yep escort the agent execution agent okay we're just basically meant to escort him to that place over there and there's going to be some holes and stuff that are going to spawn in and we're going to have to kill them before they kill the agent which is basically self-explanatory just got to be very quickly because just in case other ones spawn in and we just he even if he dies it doesn't really matter because he doesn't get finished which is really really good so we just got to literally make him follow us around the area anytime 
we see one of those portals op open up, we have to be very, very cautious and just kill that hollow. Right, I wonder if he just hits me and he just... Oh, never mind. Is he just going to keep on following that guy? Bro, okay, hit me, bro. No, 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 don't... Bro, no, 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 don't combo him. Okay, yep, yeah, this is not looking too great, I'll be honest. Bro, hit me, man. I want you to hit me. There we go. All right, perfect. All right, okay. This guy is on solo HP. No, this is going to be kind of difficult for us now. All right, oh, and we also going to level from that too. Okay, we've got Blaze Kick and Impale. I think I'm probably going to use... You know, we're going to use Impale, because why not? Oh, no, no, don't finish him! Okay, I was going to... And oh my god, I failed the mission because I accidentally finished him. No, man, I have to redo it again. All right, okay, we're super close to the place of ex escorting him. So we just have to kill, I think, two more hollows probably, including this one. And then we should be able to successfully escort him. We don't have enough reaction for the other move, but we can just kill him like there we go. And now he just follows us all the way over here. And I think that should be, hopefully, that is going to be the last hollow. Maybe there's going to be one more, but I may, may not be, okay. All right, okay, follow him, let him follow us inside, and there we go, all right, that took longer than it should have, and one mission down, and again, okay, defeat the Aranka, okay, this is probably like the easier missions, all right, perfect block him, boom, straight away, getting straight into the fight, okay, he uses evasive there, all right, hit him with this, boom, hit him with, okay, where is he gone, bro, all right, yeah, this is, should be a very, very easy fight. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him with a combo. If he doesn't use his ratchet burst now, he should be dead. And there we go. That was so, so, so easy. Finish him off. And there we go. And I think now this is the another one. Okay, clear the hollow horde. All right, okay. I think the fourth one is the most annoying when we get spawned into a room with like lots and lots of people and you have to like kill them. That one's like just so, so irritating. But I think we should be able to pass that one first try too. All right, we need to just kill two more. We already killed the first initial three. And these are the two. All right, and there we go. That was fairly, fairly easy. Super quick. And this is the one I'm ready. This is the one that's really, really annoying. We get put into a room, and there's, like, so many people that spawn in, like, these guys here. We just have to kill them, all these agents. Block. Okay, we have to kill them. The thing is, the best thing is they barely have any HP. It's just that lots of them spawn in at the same time, which is so, so annoying. Right, okay, we just have to kill them really, really quickly, I guess. We just can't let them pile up, because when they pile up, that's when we get into trouble. Like, they're starting to pile up. Okay, this is not good. I hit him with this combo, there we go. Alright, okay, killed another one. Yep, this is not- okay. Why is he using- yo, his combos do- Why did they do, like, a good amount of damage? You know, this is not good. Oh, this is where they start piling up. Yep, yep, this is where I don't like it. Okay, I hit one of them. The best thing is they give us, like, a decent amount of exp like, HP every time we kill them. This is where they start- All of these guys team up with me at the same time. This is where it just becomes way- Way too difficult, especially with barely any reaction. I can't even use my moves. And that oh my god, okay. We have to do this again and again until we actually eventually do it. All right, guys, and there we go. We just, we completed it real quick. And that should send us back. And look at us. We've already awakened our thing. I'm pretty sure this is probably Midas. I'm guessing because it's the most common one. And yeah, I think we're going to go for this one because, as you know, Chad doesn't use, like, swords or anything. So I'm going to try and see if Clock has a sword. If he doesn't have a sword, then I'm going to be using Clock or maybe even Dimension. We will see. But for now, let me speak. Actually, no, we don't even need to speak to anyone. We need to just return with our cell phone. Is it going to let us? Oh, we're in danger. We can't do that. But, but now our next main goal is to reach, I think, level 90 and have enough, like, of those points so we can actually start doing the bankai fight not the bankai fight the full bringer fight and that is something i am not looking forward to because that fight is so annoying look at that person that is using those stuff oh my god you know what we're gonna go to yurahara real quick and i'm gonna spend like four i'm gonna spend half of my predicate essences i'm not sure how much i have i'm gonna spend like half of them for the full bring rerolls maybe we can get dimension or clock i think clock would probably be the best but we'll, we'll do dimension and see if that's like a good one we'll bring a rerolls we'll do half of them we'll see what what we get Okay, Midas. Oh, we're going to get lots of Midas's, that's the thing, that's for sure. Okay, we've got Clock again. Kether. Kether's really, really good, but it's a sword one. Kether again. Kether twice. Clock. Kether. Okay, if next time we get Clock, we'll keep it. Okay, there we go. We'll keep Clock for now and see if it's like, it suits Chad's personality. Right, guys, but now I'm just going to keep on grinding a little bit. Grind out where he actually starts and agility stats and strength stats until we are able to limit break to C rank and yeah I'll catch you guys once we are able to alright guys so one more of these invasions and we should be able to limit break so the invasions that we're going to be doing is the sealed object I mean to be honest it's the easiest one and we're kind of low leveled alright we just have to kill one of these guys here and then carry them to the guard so we're just going to have to kill this guy here boom hit him hit him hit him hit him do a decent amount of damage to him in fact alright we can carry him 
Uh, no one can hit us either way because we have the new protection on. So we're just going to carry him to this guard. Should be fairly, fairly easy to be honest. After that, we just go to the place, pick up the object and then drop it off. So yep, we turn in the guard. So now we have to go to that place over there. All right, there we go. Picked it up and now we have to go back to that place over there and return it. All right, we're super close to the Senkan Mon. So we just have to return the object. And this invasion should probably, it's probably going to give us enough points for our limit break. So we can limit break to C rank, which is really, really, really good. All right, extraction successful. Okay, that's perfect. All right, is that going to get us enough points? Yes, it is perfect. All right, okay, we're just going to press G and there we go. Okay, we're limbo just like that. Okay, perfect. And what we're going to put it in, I think we're going to put it in Ryatsu. Oh, I thought that would have been so good that Ryatsu like maxed out already. Are we going to get anything here? Okay, we've got something blue. Okay, half a soul drink is actually good. Okay, and a blood drink. That's not bad at all. And now, the like, basically, one of the most important ranks we need to rank up to is B rank. Because then we can actually start using our full bringer at any time. We don't even have to get the bar up or anything. So, basically, we can use it all limited amounts of time. Which is really, really good. So, I'm just going to keep on grinding these. And some of like, the hollow missions and menace missions. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys once we're able to limit break to B rank. Alright guys, and just like that, we managed to reach B rank, so that means, as you can see, my counter has 0%, and we can press G and awaken our full bringer straight away, which is so convenient, and you know what, we might as well go and fight our guy, this guy here, because we need some stats regardless, so let me just drink a soul drink and fight our guy. Uh, what we're gonna do, I think I'm probably gonna do my agility for now. Let's pick my agility. Oh my god, he got occupied the second that I picked it. Alright, so we just gotta wait for that guy to finish. Alright, we're fighting our guy here. Why? Okay, I thought there was two of them. Alright, we're just gonna hit them. Okay, no way this guy kills us. Bro, wait, right, okay, I'm not even prepared yet. Alright, hit him with this. Okay, now he's gonna use his thingy. Of course, he's gonna use his evasive. Right, there we go. But our combos do so much damage to this guy, it's unreal. Okay, oh, okay, he can't even break his guard. Yo, relax, what's this guy comboing us? Alright, okay. Okay, relax, bro, relax. Okay, never mind. My counter attack did not work. We'll just hit him with some few M1s. I think one more combo should kill him. And there we go. All right, easy peasy. Okay, and we got some good agility. Okay, oh, I it would have been so much better if you just maxed out agility. However, it doesn't really matter. We got a new skill available too. And I'm guessing it's going to be... Yeah, we're going to... Should we unlock this one or this one? I think we're going to do a flash from our just so we can, like, we can use it a lot more in the same period of time. And we don't even have any quests from Kiske anymore. I think those quests are finished. So now we're probably going to start having to like max out our thingies and I think we're going to do killing 15 hollows so we can actually start leveling up as fast and as soon as possible. And there's some hollows over there that we can obliterate. I think, are they fighting each other, the hollows? Okay, yeah, they're fighting each other. All right, okay, perfect. All right, let me just capitalize on that. Boom. All right, killed one. That's two down. And that's three already down super quick. We need another 12. Alright, and that should be 10 down after we kill this guy. Of course, he uses his combo the second that we're about to kill him. There we go. That's 10 down. The worst thing about this Midas is it scales of spirit. So it's so, so hard to like basically balance between spirit and strength because I, I want to have a strength build because, of course, the M1s are really, really important. However, like these moves scale off spirit. So if I hit this guy here, wait, okay, why is it gonna. Right, okay, I'm gonna hit him and then. Oh, our move is not even loaded in yet, but it just scales off spirit. So it does literally. It does like. 10 damage altogether combined, which is really, really not good at all. We need to do at least like 40, 50 damage because like Kether and that, I'm pretty sure they scale off strength, if I'm not mistaken. So it's so hard to scale it off spirit because we do need a lot of strength because our M if we don't have strength, our M1s are just going to do basically no damage. Like, look at this, look at this. I'm going to use it now. And look how much damage it does, just 2 damage per 1. And it, and it does like 5, 10 hits, so like 20 damage maximum, which is not good at all. Right, and there we go, we completed that mission, and we got so, some decent amount of thingy levels, because we need as much levels as possible, because I'm pretty sure we can actually fight our boss at like level 90 to level 100. And we also need, of course, those points that we can easily get from time gates. So yeah, guys, I'm just going to be grinding now. I'm actually going to show you clips of me grinding this time. And I'll catch you guys once we are, like, around maybe level, like, 90 or 100 with our S- minus rank so we can actually like do the full bringer quest a lot easier and yeah i'll catch you guys then
All right, guys, so we managed to get to level 93 with us also being S minus rank, which means now we're going to be calling up our cell phone. And I think we should we should be ready to go on to the next one. Is it going to tell us we're strong enough? So you've worked on your body strength plenty. You should be good to begin the next part of your training. Use the command beckon on your apartment PC. All right, perfect. All right, that means we are ready. So we just talk to this guy, enter our apartment. Let me just remove the cell phone from my hand just in case we click it by accident. And before we even press beckon, we're going to modify our skills because why not okay so the skill that we want here um what skill remaining bind spot we want to remove our cycle and then bind our firefly assault and also remove which one is it so i did this with i think kether which was really really overpowered it took me like five six hours to do so i'm not looking forward to this at all like at all the first part of this is pretty easy and then it's just a boss fight is just it's just basically so difficult right okay let's see okay this guy here like this guy here is not that like he's not that difficult at all look how much i literally do like two hits and he's basically dead i just want my hit and there we go he is dead and we just finish him up and uh, there we go this it's just this fight here afterwards that is so so difficult so died to a shigami okay shigami this time all right i don't i don't remember this part okay i, I wait but last time I did this, I do not remember this part. I do not remember this part at all. Oh, bro. Okay, okay, okay. I had to only kill him once last time and then that was it. Maybe it was a, like a glitch before or something. All right, where's the last guy? So congratulations, you've bested your failures. Now how about we fight? Okay, this is the actual fight. All right, so basically this is how this works. This guy has like two modes. Once we get him to around like 75% down of his HP, he's going to transform to his other mode. And then after that, we fight him. And he is very, very, very difficult to fight. So we just have to basically hope and pray for the best. Uh, okay, so police game, do not... All right, he's there, he's there, he's there. Okay, we just have to play it like kind of douchebaggy. All right, okay, we're we're just gonna have to escape why is it not make escape it's so laggy yeah this game the thing is with this game is really really laggy and i think probably our hp right now is gonna go down so so much oh it's just gonna kick us out either one and yep it's kicked us out perfect all right guys so i've tried to kill this boss so many times and i just i've got to a bank i fight like a few times i've just not managed to kill him so i think the only solution is for me to probably get to s rank and max myself out and just get as much strength as possible so we can defeat him as fast as possible so yeah i'm just gonna max out my character real quick and then also kill the guy and yeah i will catch you guys once we've defeated him and max out our character so we can actually become as powerful as possible Alright guys, and after so much grinding, we finally got this. Wow, okay, this actually took so, so long to get, but however, we finally, finally got it. And yeah, okay, killing the boss was extremely, extremely difficult, but look at us, we look dripped out to the max. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to try out some of the moves. I'm actually not sure how to check some of the moves. Okay, we've got jack Jackpot jug Judgment here, and I want to use it on someone, but... Okay, I was thinking, no, our counter's gonna run out before we can even find a hollow. No way, okay, oh, there's, oh, there's an Agicast there. But are we gonna use it before that? Please. And I used it, but it's just uh, ran out in time. Oh my god, I have to get my counter up. Okay. But yeah, alright, I'm actually excited to use all of those moves. Just see how good they are. Alright, we got our counter up again, finally. And now we're gonna use it against this Agicast and see if we can actually use our, get our move through. Okay, I'm just gonna block his guard break and use it. No, okay, okay, there we go, you used it, oh, okay, it's like a fist, okay, this boss used it so many times against us, and yeah, it's like a rain shower too, so if we go, if it goes in the shower, it actually does like a decent amount of damage too, and there's so many like M1s, and so, there's an M2, there's a passive, the Midas touch, there's another passive, okay, while possessing gold, reduce damage dealt to yourself by 30%, while possessing at least 10 gold successfully, I don't even know how I'm meant to get gold, I'll be real, um, for some reason it, has, uh, it says we have zero gold now, but yeah, but getting the gold apparently is really, really important. 
and I, to be honest i don't really know how i can get it but okay we finally managed to get the form which is literally the main thing it took me so 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 long to get this midas form killing that midas boss is basically like so it's so difficult for some reason i think they need to nerf it I, like it's just way too hard but yeah we finally got it which was our main main thing we have to get to max level just to be able to do it which is kind of crazy but it is what it is but yeah guys that has been the video of me spending 100 days as full bringer chad himself if you did enjoy this video make sure to like subscribe and also comment down below what other characters you want me to do hope you have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day and peace out guys peace out